friends good evening i welcome you all for today's homeopathic awareness program my humble pranams to all my gurus teachers and masters my pranams to all the elders from my team and also who are attending this program my wholehearted blessings to all the youngsters so after almost six classes after that is after uh, completion of uh, harmagaru classes on biochemic salts so i am continuing with the old talk topic of uh, common ailments it is homeo cure for common ailments part 30 the problems related to the rectum and the anus the topic is very important because many people large number of people suffering from something or other problems related to the rectum and anus but many people are unable to express outwardly they feel shy they feel embarrassed to reveal their problem especially so with ladies okay so who are attending this program they can understand and they can you know how to get treatment for their problems they can understand from this lesson see all other problems so they can but whereas uh, related to the rectum related to the pret organs they find embarrassed to discuss here what is rectum what is anus many people think that rectum and anus both are same but it is not so the rectum is a straight 8 inches chamber that connects the colon to the anus the rectum job is to receive stool from the colon and let you know that there is stool to be evacuated and holds this stool under the evacuation happens so the large intestine it is connected to the large intestine this uh, rectum and this is connected to the anus that is the last part of the digestive tract the anus is the last part of the digestive tract where it gets physically gets opened where stool comes out okay it is a 2 inch long canal consisting of the pelvic floor floor muscles and the two anal sphincters both internal and external <coughs> the lining of the upper anus is able to detect rectal contents whatever is there rectum it can detect and it lets you know whether the contents are liquid gas or solid the sensitiveness will be there it is a sensor it has got a sensor so it can sense whether it is liquid gas or solid so 8 inches long chamber is rectum 2 inches depth that uh, portion is anus okay so above the anus rectum is situated 2 inches above the anus 
So two inch uh, anus uh, length is two inches. Above that is eight inches rectum. Total ten inches. Okay. That is the difference between the rectum and anus. So coming to the uh, remedies and symptoms treatment. I always uh, advise you any medicine selection. You should uh, consider modalities. That is most important. Every remedy modalities are most important. So without modalities, uh, if you administer blindly, it won't work. It won't help. Okay. First drug is. Econite. In Econite, uh, itching and stitching pains in the anus at night. Itching and stitching pains in the anus at night. Bleeding piles. Okay. Initial stage of bleeding piles. It will help. Then next remedy is Esculasip. People who use Homeopathy. Most of the people know that Aeschylus sip is a good remedy for piles. Okay. What are the symptoms? A rectum is dry, raw, sore, painful, with the feeling of full full of small sticks, swollen, blind, and bleeding piles. So these piles are called hemorrhoids in a general medical terminology. It is called hemorrhoids, but uh, I am writing and pronouncing it as a piles only common man's language. Severe sharp, severe sharp shooting pain and burning in anus. Better by cold application. You see here. Many people come and tell, sir, I have got uh, uh, swelling, pain, and uh, um, unbearable pain and burning. So give me medicine. When I ask, uh, you feel better by warm application, cold application. They cannot tell. So in that case, it becomes difficult to prescribe because is the cold application comfortable one remedy. Then uh, warm application comfortable, another remedy. Then uh, ice cold application comfortable, another remedy. So like that, uh, different remedies based on the modalities. So modalities are most important. Great pain while and after passing stools with a prolapsed rectum. That means uh, the piles uh, it will come out and it won't go back. Easily, sometimes uh, they have to push it. Sometimes it goes back on its own. <clears throat> Itching caused by threadworms, and uh, this medicine helps uh, their expulsion. Okay, so threadworms uh, elimination, escalopsip helps. So escalopsip is a good remedy for piles. Severe painful piles with blind piles or protruded piles, outwardly protruded bleeding piles. So everything it is better by cold application. And Aeschylus hip you will get ointment also. That ointment to be applied after passing this tool, after washing, wipe with soft. Clean cloth, that area. After wiping, then take uh, this Aeschylus-Sip uh, cream, that ointment uh, with finger, and apply it. There, suppositor also comes. That suppositor also can be used. Apply on suppositor and insert the suppositor and apply. Wherever that growth is there, wherever pain is there, that painful area. This escalopsip cream can be applied. So, 
if that is applied, uh, what happens next time uh, like when you pass this tool, at that time intensity of the pain will be much less. Okay. So that way this helps very well and it helps uh, to reduce the pain, burning and bleeding. Then next remedy is alloy, A-L-O-E. Alloy is a great remedy for piles. Rectum protrudes like a bunch of grapes. You know the grapes. Like this a bunch it comes, you know. Like that uh, rectum also, there will be a small, small, uh, a bunch of grapes like that uh, projections will be there. And very sore, painful, hot, burning and bleeding. Rectum protrudes like bunch of grapes, very sore, painful, hot, burning and bleeding. Better by applying cold water. Esclusive also better by applying cold water. Alloy also better applying cold water. Worse by hot application. It is worse by hot application. Horrible itching and burning in anus, preventing sleep. Severe itching and burning in the anus and sleep is totally disturbed. So cannot sleep because on account of itching and burning. Better by cold washing. Washing with cold water gives comfort. Some doctors advise you have to sit in warm water tub. Then put little salt and sit in warm water. Many do that. But after that their suffering will increase in case of alloy or escalership or some other remedies. It will increase. So, everybody same logic will not apply. Each individual is a different species, different type of nature, different modalities. One fellow likes something, another fellow likes something else. So, you have to, homeopathy specialty is that only. You have to find out what is that particular individual likes, what is that particular individual dislikes. Based on that, uh, if you give the remedy, it works wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Sense of insecurity in rectum when passing flatters. See, when passing gas downward, a sense of insecurity in the rectum. Why? Uncertain whether gas or stool will come out. Whether gas will come out or stool will come out. So uncertain, not confident. That is why a sense of insecurity. Sometimes gas will come. Sometimes stool will come out. That is a nuisance. Okay. A fellow is attending a meeting. In the meeting, he feels that gas is coming out. If he passes gas, that stool comes out. So he cannot sit and it will smells very bad. So this yellow is a remedy which is safeguards from that situation. Feeling of weakness and loss of power of sphincter of anus muscles. That is a sphincter of anus. Feeling of weakness and loss of power of sphincter of anus. Okay. That is about alloy. So alloy, hot water cannot, hot application aggravates. Better by cold application. Then next remedy is anacardium. Oh, yeah, people wanted a spelling also, you know. Okay. The first remedy is aconite. A-C-O-N-I-T-E. That is first remedy. Next remedy is asculus hip. A-E-S. C U L U S H I P hip. So Esculus hip. The next remedy is A L O E alloy. The next remedy is anacardium. A N A C A R D I U M. Anacardium. 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 Bowels are inactive. 
balls inactive, ineffectual desire, rectum seems powerless, as if plugged, when plug is instruct, inserted in the anus or rectum, the feeling as if plugged, spasmodic constriction of sphincter of anus, even soft stool passes with difficulty, itching at anus, moisture from rectum, bleeding while passing stool, painful piles, worse on application of hot water, painful piles, worse on application of hot water. Okay. This is about anacardium. Next remedy is apismel. A-P-I-S. Apis, M-E-L, mel. Honeybee. The anus sore and swollen. Profuse bleeding. Remains open. Prolapse. The anus feels raw. Electric shock shocks in rectum before urging to stool. Before getting urge for stool, there is electric shock like feeling in the rectum. Pains from piles with stinging pain after con confinement. Piles with the stinging pain after confinement. After confinement means after pregnancy. After women becomes pregnant, piles with stinging pain. Worse from heat in any form or touch. Even touch is painful. Very sensitive to touch. Pressure. So cannot bear pressure. So applying finger at that place also painful. Washing also it uh, pain aggravates because you have to rub, you know, after passing this tool for cleaning purpose, uh, you have to rub. Even that is very painful. Okay. Better by cold application. Cold application is comfortable. If this apis fellow if sits in hot water, warm water, or applying warm water, it burning and pain aggravates. There will be stinging pains as if insect is biting, the type of stinging pains will be there. Okay. So, so far, apis also, worse by warm, then um, this anacardium is worse by warm, aloe is worse by warm, escalosip is worse by warm, so, so far all are worse by warm. Then what is the medicine better by warm application? You all know very well. Which remedy is that? Arsenic alb. A-R-S-E-N-I-C. Arsenic A-L-B alb. Painful, spasmodic, protrusion of rectum. Painful, spasmodic protrusion of rectum, that is prolapse of rectum. Tenosmus. Tenosmus means not, not getting feeling that full is cleared. Never get done feeling is tenosmus. Almost want to, you know, see, see something is there, that type of feeling. Burning pain and pressure in rectum and anus. Burning pain and pressure in rectum and anus. Piles burn like fire. Piles burn like fire. Comfortable by warm water application. Warm application comfortable. So anything in warm, warm application comfortable. Skin around the anus is excoriated. What is meant by excoriated? It is eaten away. Becomes like a wound. 
So, skin around the anus is excoriated or becomes like a wound and severe burning and pain. Better by warm application. Warm application is comfortable. Okay. This arsenic works very well. Wonderful remedy. Then arsenic also is a wonderful remedy. Okay. Next remedy is Berita Carb. B A R Y T A Berita C A R B Carb. Berita Carb. Piles protrude on urinating. When fellow is trying to pass the urine, the piles will come out. They will protrude. So it is a new sense. Fellow goes to the toilet to pass the urine. That uh, uh, whole thing comes out, the piles will come out, then he has to push it out. So that is a nuisance. Crawling in the rectum, crawling sensation in the rectum. As it's uh, some insects are crawling in the rectum. Oozing at anus, some oozing of moisture, some liquid from the anus. Next remedy is Belladonna. B E L L A D O N N A Belladonna. Belladonna, you know very well. What is the symptom? A redness, swelling, burning, and painful. Burning, swelling, swelling, burning, red, and painful muscles in the rectum and around anus. Spasmodic pain. Pain comes and goes. Comes and goes like waves. Okay. Stinging pain. Severe backache with piles. There will be severe backache with piles. Even Esculus hip also, there will be a severe backache with piles. So, Belladonna, anal prolapse. So, anus, you know, prolapse, it will come out. Then, next remedy is. Carbo waste, C A R B O carbo, V E Z waste, bluish burning piles, pain after stools. Okay. See, we have helped a large number of patients in last 45 years with these medicines, especially Esculus hip. Many of the patients, uh, Esculus hip, alloy, then um, this arsenic calb, then rotten here, acid nitricum, acid moor, like that uh, different different medicines, uh, they helped very well to cure uh, completely for a large number of patients. They got into some patients, uh, we have treated about 20 years back, uh, Till today, there is no problem. Okay. Then, next remedy is Calcarea Carb. C A L C A R E A. Calcarea C A R B Carb. Crawling sensation and constriction in rectum as if insects are crawling, moving. So, something is moving, something is crawling in sensations, crawling sensation and constriction in the rectum. Prolapse of anus. So, Kalkirakar generally the muscle stamina is less, you know, that is why anus prolapse will be there. So, burning and stinging piles. Then, Next remedy is causticum. C A C A U S T I C U M. Causticum. In causticum, what is the importance of causticum? Causticum is a very good remedy for paralysis, is it not? So, similarly, here, partial paralysis of rectum, fistula, and large piles, large piles, bigger size piles. Rectum sore, burns and itches, and 
this is in Kastikam, we have discussed earlier, so can pass tools only while standing. While standing only can pass this tool. So it is a very important and PQRS symptom, very PQRS symptom. With this particular symptom, we have treated few cases successfully. <coughs> Then next is chamomilla, soreness of anus, piles with painful fissures, fissures means cracks, so piles with painful cracks. Then next remedy is chelidonium, C-H-E-L-I-D-O-N-I-U-M, chelidonium, burning and itching of anus. Burning and itching. Okay. Next remedy is Sina. C I N A. Sina, itching at the anus due to worms. Because of worms, there will be severe itching at the anus. The fellows will be restless and go on scratching, go on fingering at the anus. Okay. For that, Sina helps very well. Then, next remedy is. Gelsemium, G E L S C E M I U M, Gelsemium, partial paralysis of rectum and sphincter of anus. So, causticum also, Gelsemium also, paralysis. Okay. Then, next is Hemomelis. Hemomelis also, very important remedy for piles. For especially bleeding piles, very painful, tender and bleeding piles. Okay. And even get uh, um, yeah, hemomelis anus sore, raw and profuse bleeding piles. Pulsation in the rectum. Pulsation in the rectum. Pulse uh, feeling in the rectum. Okay. It uh, for bleeding piles, hemomelis ointment can be applied externally and internally hemomelis can be taken. Hemomelis sixth potency works very well. Hemomelis six morning, afternoon, evening, night four times a day it can be taken. If six potency is not available, you can use thirty potency daily two or three times. Okay. Uh, for the Bleeding to stop bleeding. Externally, you can apply hemomelis cream. Whenever possible, wash it, wipe it, and apply the cream. Okay. The next remedy is hypericum. Hemomelis, H A M A M E L I S, hemomelis. Hypericum, H Y P E R I C U M, hypericum. Very painful, tender and bleeding piles. So, fellow cannot sit. Sitting is difficult. So, that is why when patient comes, only with one buttock they will sit. So, very tender. Then next remedy is Ignatia. I-G-N-A-T-I-A, Ignatia. Itching and stitching in the rectum. Itching and stitching in the rectum. Prolapse. Stools pass with difficulty. Painful constriction of anus after stool. Stitches in piles during cough. While coughing, there are stitches in the piles. Stitches from anus deep into rectum. Stitches from the rectum, deep into the stitches from the anus, goes into the rectum. Bleeding and pain, worse when stool is loose. See, peculiarity here, when the stool is hard, not much problem. If the stool is loose, the bleeding and pain will be there. Pressure as a sharp instrument from within and outward. 
as if a sharp instrument is there in the rectum and from there it is coming outward such type of feeding then kali carb kali carb large difficult stool with the stitching pain an hour before passing stool stitching pain an hour before uh, passing stool you see the peculiarity before passing the stool one hour before pain starts okay piles large swollen painful itching ulcerated itching and ulcerated pimples around anus large discharge of bread with natural stool large discharge of blood with natural stool that means normal stool pain in piles and coughing when coughing there is a severe pain in the piles burning in rectum and anus so burning in rectum and anus so easy prolapse easily it gets prolapsed rectum gets prolapsed then itching itching of anus okay then next remedy is kalimur kali carb spelling is k a l i k c a r b carb kali carb then kalimur kalimur piles bleeding blood dark and thick fibrinous that is fibrous fibrinous clotted clots blood is clotted thread worms causing itching at the anus thread worms causing itching at the anus then next remedy is ledum pal l e d u m p a l pal ledum pal stre painful piles and fissures fissures means cracks so rectum is anus is cracked painful piles and fissures in the anus pain better by ice cold application ice cold water application they feel comfortable okay so warm application it aggravates the problem the next remedy is l y c o p o d i u m lycopodium okay feeling as if stool remained unpassed feeling as if stool remained unpassed that means not passed even after passing the stools even after passing the stool feeling that uh, stool is left over not passed that feeling okay piles aching painful to touch better by hot bathing hot water bath gives lot of comfort rawness of anus chillness in the rectum before stool so feels chillness in the rectum before passing the stool continues continued burning in rectum so continuous burning in the burning in the rectum okay next remedy is muriaticum acid muriaticum acid m u r i a t i c u m muriaticum acid a c i d okay it is called acid mur it is called acid mur 
okay muriaticum acid if you see boric material medica you can see as a muriaticum acid extremely sensitive and painful piles extremely sensitive and painful piles even contact with the cloth is painful touch of a cloth is painful swelling protrusion and bleeding swelling protrusion and bleeding anal itching itching in the anus prolapse of anus while urinating while urinating prolapse of anus tendency to involuntary stools while urinating see prolapse of anus while urinating tendency to involuntary stools while urinating okay piles during pregnancy bluish hot with violent stitches pain and itching better by warm application here it is not cold application cold application aggravates the problem warm application is more comfortable whether cold application aggravates does not aggravate but warm application gives lot of comfort okay generally acid more nitric acid or arsenic or and these are the three main remedies most of the cases who are better by ha warm application okay then next remedy is miristica sebifera miristica m y r i s t i c a miristica sebifera s e b i f e r a sebifera what is the specialty of this remedy fistula in the anus fistula that is ulcerated some it becomes you know a sort of ulcer in the anus fistula in the anus so acts more powerfully that this medicine miristica sebifera acts better than hepar sulf and silesia it is said so okay <laughs> there will be oozing of pus also from that uh, place pus and blood will be there so that is called fistula fistula meristica sebifera especially 3x potency or 6x potency it works very well if this is not available you can use 6x potency even that is not available 30x potency 6 means 6c 30 means 30c whereas we use mostly 3x potency then 6x potency that helps a lot okay then next remedy is natramor natramor burning pain stitching in rectum and anus after stool okay burning pain burning pain stitching in rectum and anus after stool anus contracted torn and bleeding in natrum more more of dryness will be there because of the dryness the pain stitching and uh, uh, stitching in the rectum and anus after stool okay then next remedy is nitric acid n i t r i c nitric acid a c i d acid bowls constipated with cracks in rectum rectum lot of cracks will be there tearing pains during stools and violent cutting pains after stools lasting for hours so morning passes to some people even till evening that violent pain will be there okay better by 
warm water application warm application is comfortable they are not comfortable by cold application they feel comfortable by warm application okay piles very painful as if from splinters or from glass pieces as if glass pieces are in the rectum or glass pieces are in the anus and from that uh, very painful okay even without glass pieces without splinters feeling as if uh, splinters are there glass pieces are there in the rectum so much pain okay better by warm application bleeding from bowels profuse and bright red prolapse of anus anus prolapse okay so nitric acid is a wonderful remedy we have helped uh, many people see uh, they come with a lot of pain lot of suffering they is even uh, you know they cry a lot because of that pain especially see they cannot stay we can stay without taking food suppose throat pain is there okay i cannot take food so some we can manage for 2 3 days without taking food suppose if stool is there if stool is coming if it doesn't pa- pass it leads to some other complications lot of new sense lot of gas formation gas is becoming out even that is painful so without staying without passing this stool staying is difficult so at that time there is severe burning pain bleeding it is like a hell you are in a hell okay so nitric acid helps very well and they are better by warm application cold application is not comfortable cold application may give aggravation cold application may cause aggravation or even if it is again doesn't give aggravation it does not give comfort so they are better by warm application they are better by uh, while traveling in the vehicle with lot of jerks you know while traveling in the vehicle with lot of jerks they are comfortable okay so traveling in the vehicles or traveling in the horse uh, that uh, um, cart because a lot of uh, jerks will be there no they feel comfortable and they get very nice sleep when they are traveling in the vehicles with uh, um, that uh, vibrations they feel comfortable their pain also comfortable okay bleeding from bowels profuse and bright red Bro- prolapse of anus the next remedy is nakswamika in nakswamika itching and painful piles naxam ke n u x nax v o m i c a vomica okay itching and painful piles with ineffectual urge for stool itching and painful piles with ineffectual urge for stool constriction of rectum irregular persist perist- peristaltic action irregular peristaltic action hence hence frequent ineffectual desire to pass stool or passing but uh, small quantities at each attempt okay because that uh, peristaltic action that the uh, contraction expansion that action 
is deficient, irregular because of that uh, frequent ineffectual desire to pass stool or passing out small quantities at each attempt. Absence of all, absence of all desire for defecation is a contraindication for using Naxfamica. If there is no, then absence of desire for defecation is there, then Naxfamica will not help. Okay. Adjunct to stool felt throughout abdomen. So, urging of stool felt throughout abdomen. Piles with ineffectual urge. Piles with ineffectual urge. Itching, very painful, blind piles, itching, very painful, blind piles, after use of lot of medicines, especially fellows eating so many medicines, morning to evening, and they develop, you uh, no, uh, very pain, they develop a lot of itching, painful, blind piles, after use of lot of medicines. Okay. Constant uneasiness in the rectum. Always some uneasiness in the rectum. Not comfortable. They do not feel comfortable. Conscious of the rectum. Very sensitive of the rectum. Okay. Then next remedy is Pionia. What is this Pionia? P-A-E P-A-E-O N-I-A, Pionia. Okay. And especially low potencies are very useful. Biting, itching in anus, biting, itching in anus, orifice swollen, that is opening. Wherever the orifice, you know, that is very much swollen. Burning in the anus after stool, followed by internal chillness. Fistula, fistula in the anus, painful ulcer, very painful ulcer, oozing of offensive moisture on the perineum. Okay. Then piles, fissures, ulcerated, ulceration of the anus and perineum, purple. Covered with the crust, terrible pain with and after stool, terrible pain in the rectum with stool and after each stool. Okay. This uh, there is a, some pus formation, blood formation, ulceration, burning, itching, biting, all these things. Uh, Pionia helps very well. Then next remedy is Podophyllum. P-O-D-O-P-H-Y-L-L-U-M. Podophyllum. Internal or external piles. Piles during pregnancy. Prolapse of rectum. Before or while passing stool. Prolapse of rectum before or while passing stool. Prolapse of rectum during pregnancy, after delivery, from or lifting and or staining. You see, prolapse of rectum during pregnancy, after delivery, from or lifting or straining. So all these things. So podophyllum is a very good remedy. Then next remedy is podophyllum spelling P O D O P H Y L L U M podophyllum. Then next remedy is pulsatilla. 
పల్స్ జిల్లా ఇంటర్నల్ పైల్స్ విత్ స్టికింగ్ పెయిన్ అండ్ ఇచ్చింగ్ ఓకే దెర్ ఈజ్ నో బర్నింగ్ అండ్ ఇంటర్నల్ పైల్స్ విత్ స్టికింగ్ పెయిన్ అండ్ ఇచ్చింగ్ దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రెమెడీ ఈజ్ రటన్ హియా ఆర్ఏ టిఏఎన్ హెచ్ఐఏ ఆర్ఏ టిఏఎన్ హెచ్ఐఏ రిటన్ రటన్ హియా వాట్ ఈస్ ది స్పెషాలిటీ ఆఫ్ రటన్ హియా ఏక్స్ యాజ్ ఎ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ బ్రోకెన్ గ్లాస్ ఇన్ ది రెక్టమ్ సో ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ గ్లాస్ పీసెస్ ఇన్ ది రెక్టమ్ ఓకే so full of glass pieces in the rectum yanus <coughs> aches and burns for hours after stool anus there is a pain and burning like fire for hours after stool feels constricted as if some constriction in the anus dry heat at the anus dry heat at the anus with sudden knife like stitches stools must be forced with great effort protrusion of piles fissures of anus with great constriction anus aches and burns like fire for hours after stool better by cold application person is better by cold application whereas in acid nitric and arsenic calb so they are better by warm application whereas rotten hia is better by cold application using a tanus so there will be some using at the anus pin worms itching of anus pin worms and itching of anus okay then rota g rota stool passed after great straining with the great strain stool is passed rectum muscles become hard and obstruct rectum muscle will become very hard and obstruct tearing pain in the rectum when sitting a good remedy for cancer of the rectum is a very good remedy for the cancer of the rectum okay and uh, if you see this um, energy protocols they have treated uh, they claim they are treated uh, large number of rectum uh, cancer cases uh, especially by using rota rota is a very good medicine for cancer of the rectum our uh, um khazar garu he strongly advise uh, this uh, rota plant uh, um juice to be taken internally for uh, cancer problem okay nagadale the uh, plant name nagadale so even that smell is very bad bad smell even snake cannot come if that plant is there na- there if you touch the plant and see the smell you will get nausea the type of uh, feeling will be there okay it is a small plant you can grow in uh, pots that plant then uh, protrusion of rectum in uh, rota protrusion of rectum on attempting to pass on attempting to pass tools or during pregnancy or while bending f- forward the protrusion of rectum during pregnancy 
or while passing after uh, an attempting to pass this tool without passing also an attempting to pass this tool rectum comes out or while bending forward okay so rectum prolapse will be there so pro rectum prolapse is a very good remedy podophyllum is one remedy drota is another remedy antimonium chlorodam is another remedy so antimonium chlorodam especially children uh prolapse of rectum in the children it is a very good remedy antimonium chlorodam so whereas uh, in the elders so rotaji is the rem very good remedy then next remedy is sepia s c -E p a e sepia bleeding at stools and fullness of rectum bleeding of stools the stools and fullness of rectum rectum as if it is full feels a feeling of ball in the rectum cannot strain great tenesmus and pain shooting upward prolapse prolapse of anus almost constant oozing from the anus pain shoot up in the rectum and vagina okay next remedy is silesia sepia spelling s c p i a s i p i a silesia s i l i c e a silesia feels rectum is paralyzed fistula in anus there is ulceration in the anus fissures and piles cracks and piles painful with spasms of sphincter spasms of sphincter very painful okay painful fissures and piles painful painful fissures and piles painful with spasms of sphincter stools come down with difficulty then partly expelled recedes again stool some stool comes out and uh, after expelling partly and it recedes sphincter muscle that recedes and then stool goes back so this is a peculiar situation in silesia so great straining at rectum stings it stings and closes upon stool so great straining rectum stings closes upon stools faces remain long time in the rectum stool remains long time in the rectum because it won't get opened it will not get opened so it is a, a sort of paralytic state state will be there okay so constipation always uh, before and during menses with the irritable sphincter of anus okay then next remedy is spizelia spizelia itching and crawling in the rectum as if some insects are moving frequent ineffectual urge to pass stools so spizelia s p i g i g e l i a s p i g e l i a spizelia spizelia okay itching and crawling in the rectum frequent ineffectual urge to pass stool then next remedy is sulfur s u l p h u r sulfur itching and burning of anus itching and burning of anus piles dependent upon abdominal plethora frequent 
unsuccessful desire, hard and naughty, insufficient, child afraid on account of pain, child is afraid of passing stool on account of pain, redness around the anus with itching, piles oozing and bleeding, piles there will be oozing and bleeding, okay, and either warm application or cold application, both are not comfortable, water application itself not comfortable, it is in sulphur, okay, some people routinely they will be taking sulphur in the morning, Naksvamika in the night, that is what written some of the books, so it is a very good uh, to take uh, Naksvamika in the sulphur in the morning, Naksvamika in the night. Uh, so many people by reading that uh, they will be using that. Uh, that is not the correct way of treatment. Okay, cannot take blindly. Based on the symptoms and modalities you should take. Not blindly one medicine in the morning, one medicine in the evening. Blindly it is not. So indicated symptoms. Based on the indicated symptoms, we have to give the remedy. Okay. Then next remedy is Thuja. T H U J A Thuja. Violent rectal pain causing stools to recede. Okay. Violent rectal pain causing stools to recede. So stools partially comes out and recede, goes back, piles swollen, pain, worse sitting with stitching, burning pains at the anus, stitching, burning pains at the anus, anus fissured, fissured means cracked, painful to touch and there will be warts around the anus, at the anus there will be warts. Okay growth of warts, which will be causing a lot of inconvenience, okay. So this is what related to the rectum problems, there are all medicines which are covered to you. There are, uh, the, of course, some medicines like pionia, muriaticum acid, so those things are not covered to you, but still I have given uh, because we use extensively those medicines, very useful, okay. And most of your treatment related to the rectum problem and piles problem, fissures, ulcers, then fistula, all these things, in this only it will come, okay. If you know these remedies, you can handle the cases. So I have separated the stool, so separate and rectum and anus problems are separate. So after this is over, next I am going to cover stool. In stool itself, both constipation will come, diarrhea will come. Both will come. Okay. I have not separated like diarrhea and constipation separately. Under stool, both will come. Okay. Then with this, uh, this. Uh, rectum and anus related problems completed. Now I am going to talk on different subject. Okay. So this uh, we helped a large number of people by giving these medicines, one of these medicines or one or two medicines of this uh, uh, many cases uh, they are very successfully treated it uh, works very well especially rota for the rectum cancer it is a very good remedy even sanguinaria it is mentioned uh, well about the uh, rectum cancer very well anyhow cancer and all those things uh, only people who are well experienced only can handle such cases not by the learners. Okay. This, uh, uh, the protocols of the 
बनर्जी प्रोटोकॉल्स दे एडवाइज रोटा सिक्स बटन सी बट आई डोंट नो हाउ फार इट वर्क्स ओके रोटा सिक्स बटन सी आई ट्राइड बट इट हैज नॉट गिवन गुड रिजल्ट वेर एज रोटा थर्टी हैज गिवन बेटर रिजल्ट्स बट एनी हाउ बनर्जी प्रोटोकॉल दे सेड दे रोटा सिक्स इज वेरी गुड रोटा सिक्स एंड कालकेरा फास्ट सिक्स बटन सी आल्सो दे आर एडवाइज कालकेरा फास्ट सिक्स एक्स आर सिक्स बटन सी so this is a uh, uh, i am closing about the uh, rectum and anus related issues now i will share some other experience other day uh, where were my native place uh, during 3 days uh, we were so hectic morning first day morning 7:45 we started the dispensary myself mr baburao uh, mrs sailaja from hyderabad baburao from isakpatnam uh, myself from bangalore and uh, lakshmi kumari from uh, eravalli and the um, uh, our uh, kranti kiran from uh, adanki in the prakashan district so we we all people started morning at 7:45 the dispensary went on up to 9:30 in the night out of 82 cases we attended 42 are new cases with chronic health problems and out of that few are from hyderabad visakhapatnam and other places long distance even chennai people have come from chennai instead of coming to bangalore they came to my village so that's what my village people they feel you know so so it is a, it is a honor to our village other day our village sarpanch is telling sir wherever whichever place we go The surrounding our villages, we attend the functions, and we go and attend the function. And I say that um, after seeing me, sir, in your village, that uh, homeopathy dispensary, we are getting, we got very good treatment, sir. They have given uh, very good treat. My problems are solved like that. Uh, they are telling, and uh, we feel very happy and proud about uh, our village. A very good name is coming. Uh, To our village because of uh, our home, our dispensary like that there is a lot of appreciation, and many people from our stations they are coming from far off distances. And second day we started the dispensary at uh, five o'clock, not even five o'clock, four fifty we started, and uh, it went on up to uh, evening six thirty. That means. Uh, Five uh, five fifty four fifty two evening six thirty it went on. Then third day again four fifty or five o'clock we started. It went on up to seven o'clock. Okay, so seven o'clock only we closed. That is how three days we conducted. In these three days, I will tell you one case. One lady, thirty eight years old lady. who came from eluru which is 27 kilometers from my native village that lady for almost for 4 months she was affected with uh, uh, what is that um, not alzheimers other disease is there i am not getting the disease name that complete shaking of the head <laughs> like this you know old people head will be shaking you know And uh, on hand also shaking, like this uh, shaking of uh, head and hand. So complete uh, only even uh, till she goes to bed. Morning to she goes to bed, it will be uncontrollable. There is no control at all, and uh, she was uh, undergoing the suffering. 
and almost 10,000, 10 lakhs rupees they spent. Already husband is undergoing a uh, lot of stress. That stress, because of the stress only she got, because uh, after COVID got affected, after uh, COVID has come, they have got transport business. The transport business got badly affected after Corona started. So they have to pay a lot of loans to the bank. So a lot of stress. Because of the stress, uh, she developed this problem. Okay. So after two months of treatment, her treatment is allopathic medicine. Somebody advised her to go to our dispensary at my native village. But uh, they did not uh, feel that uh, homeopathy will help for that. Homeopathy may help for small, small uh, cold cough problems, but this is a very big problem. It cannot help. So another two months uh, it went on. Otherwise, uh, she would have been saved with 5 lakhs only. 5, five, five lakhs only, she would have come out. But she spent 10 lakhs, but of no use. Then she came to us. On that day, it was, you know, her case came late also. I feel bad because uh, every case uh, with some, I cannot give priority to any case. Every case is a difficult case. Okay. So she stayed for a long time, morning to almost afternoon, uh, up to 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, she stayed. Then finally, her case came, I had taken her uh, personality, her personality is natrum carb. She looks like somewhat uh, calcarea carb or palsilla personality, but uh, fair complexion, chubby, but she is of uh, natrum carb personality. So natrum carb 30 in the morning and this uh, complete uh, um, shaking. For this, uh, what is the prominent remedy in uh, homeopathy? That is, uh, gelsemium is a very good Parkinson disease. We can, it is like a Parkinson disease. Okay, I don't know what is a Parkinson or some other sun disease, but she got uh, Parkinson disease like symptoms. So, what are the remedies? One primary remedy is gelsemium. Another is gingkamet. Gingkamet also helps for such things. Okay. Then I gave morning natrum carb, evening gelsemium. These are the two remedies I gave to that lady for one month I gave. And, uh, natrum carb 30, gelsemium 30. Then she came on uh, second day she came. Then our people, uh, Mrs. Sailaja, uh, is telling, sir, that lady has come, sir, that lady has come. <laughs> I'm telling, which lady? There are already so many ladies only. And uh, though gents are there, many are ladies only. Which lady? No, sir, the last time uh, that uh, lady is shaking of head, you know, and uh, hand shaking, head shaking, that lady, she's all right, sir, simply she's sitting without any shaking. She's not shaking. Like that, okay, okay, we'll see later. Because we are busy with so much busy with the patients. Then afternoon when we went uh, out at, uh, uh, for lunch at 2.30, that lady was not there. Then our people are telling us that lady went away, I think, sir, she is not there. Still now she was here only. Then after we came for, um, back from the lunch, after 20 minutes uh, spending for lunch, we came back. She was there. She came inside. She told, after 10 days of treatment, our treatment, her shaking has stopped only for 10 days. That means 10 doses of natrum carb, 30, 10 doses of gelsemium, 30. And before that, one dose of tuberculinum, 1M, with one day gap. This is 10, 10 doses. With that, one dose of tuberculinum, 1M, 10 doses of natrum carb, 10 doses of gelsemium. Her Problem completely stopped. That is the greatness of homeopathy. Okay. So, 
she is so much thankful sir i never expected that i will get cured i lost hopes so finally without any hopes i came to you so now i am fine then what i did natrum carb 30 gelsemium 30 alternatively with one day gap so i have given another for each 15 doses one day natrum carb next day no medicine third day gelsemium fourth day no medicine fifth day natrum carb like that uh, so another uh, uh, two months medicine each 15 15 doses with one one day gap uh, it will come for two months so so that uh, her problem will not reappear again she will get cured september uh, to our village so that lady is married person she was brought from uh, hyderabad she they came by flight married person she used to behave very arrogantly adamantly arguing and uh, impulsively fighting with the parents fighting with the mother in law fighting with the uh, husband arguing so all this uh, we have you know taken the case completely and given the medicine so uh, for about 3 months so that uh, lead, and this problem is for a long time not uh, one day two days for a long time few years this is going on okay and she put on the weight also and two days back uh, her father spoke to me sir her condition has improved by 50 to 60 percent we are so happy with the treatment okay so that uh, course of treatment i will see and tell you what medicines we have given now uh, i will let you know later and another case one girl uh, who is studying uh, 10th class she was brought to our dispensary from hyderabad uh, father they are from a uh, uh, highly educated father mother very highly educated father is very disciplined systematic and he expects uh, same thing from uh, children also and uh, that uh, girl because of uh, uh you know lot of if she is of uh, sulfur some sulfur is there in her that sulfur people they want uh, freedom you know they don't want to be disciplined they don't want uh, total discipline some amount of discipline now they okay but uh, lot of pressure to be disciplined uh, is uh, very stressful to the fellows who have got some sulfur berita sulfur natrum sulfur calcara sulfur like that some sulfur is there no the sulfur component comes uh, they want to be totally freedom they expect even other lady i'm so i'm telling she is also some sulfur so that uh, fathers uh, pressure to be some disciplined uh, that uh, put lot of pressure okay so they become eccentric this girl 10th class girl she develop lot of uh, suicidal tendency want to jump want to Uh, commit suicide and uh, somebody thing is telling in uh, in her uh, mind uh, you jump you do this you don't uh, be alive. like that uh, some suggestions she is getting she is telling yes i am getting a suggestion i have to do that both parents pay see parents they were in america all the way they came to hyderabad they do something good to the society so but you know the system here it is not congenial so many problems so they are undergoing lot of stress so in that stress definitely parents they show their stress on their children you know generally so family members they cannot show on their stress their other members only family members so children are victims so in that the child got affected so Uh, and uh, either father or mother always 
how to be with the girl so they brought one day to our dispensary in uh, bangalore maybe about uh, uh, 20 days back i think they, they came by flight while coming here with a great difficulty they brought her to our dispensary in dr dr township then our uh, dr bhavana who is a new doctor who has passed from uh, bh passed bhms from uh, um bhagwan buddha homeopathic medical college she joined about two ma- two and a half months back our dispensary she is taking the cases nicely and i assigned this case to her she took the case after the case is took we analyzed the doctor and myself we analyzed finally we came to a conclusion this girl belongs to natrum self constitution because natrum component is there sulfur component is there she doesn't like rainy weather she doesn't like damp weather so partially you know she is very reserved nature then she does not want to share except one or two people at the same time she want to be freedom and she is disorganized all these things and cannot bear damp conditions all this and natrum self there is a strong suicidal tendency is another predominant feature okay then immediately what we did so immediately we administered one dose of aramet vanam aramet vanam because aramet strong suicidal tendency by jumping is it not our uh, rajni uh, galani madam from bombay she has given that uh, talk so strong suicidal tendency so gave aramet so after aramet uh, while going while coming they found lot of difficulty while going back the girl she completely relaxed and slept nicely so they could able to go easily after that some aggravation then relief all those things are there then uh, natrum self 200 i have given alternate days one dose one day one dose next day no medicine third day to be given like that uh, alter, uh, once in three days or one uh, alternate days are uh, prescribed so with that uh, she has gradually improved but impulses are coming back then mother spoke to me then i told to give natrum self one m one dose after giving one m the two days back that mother spoke to me mother and father they spoke to me and they told uh, after giving natrum self one m two days there was aggravation of condition that means uh, 200 potency was not fully sufficient where a 1000 potency he has given aggravation that means uh, in me in between uh, some 500 potency if it is available that is more appropriate but 500 potency we don't have is it not so 200 potency it is not completely giving it is giving comfort but not completely one m potency is given some aggravation has come so after one m potency after two days of aggravation now she is much much better by 60% she is comfortable that's what uh, now parents are very happy and whatever allopathic medicine they were giving earlier that all allopathic medicine what they are giving i told not to stop suddenly because suddenly if you stop it may cause some problem because system is habituated to that medicine okay so i asked them to tap her down now they have reduced uh, that medicine by 50% allopathic medicine then with this uh, with by reducing allopathic medicine 50% with one dose of natrum self she is much better regularly now they are giving magnesia fast and kali fast biochemic tablets magnesia fast two times kali fast two times and apart from that uh, three mother tinctures what are the three mother tinctures brahmi mother tincture in the morning avina sativa mother tincture in the afternoon ashwagandha mother tincture in the night these three mother tinctures 
10 drops each time with uh, 3 teaspoons of water to be given so that uh, these three mother tinctures and this uh, magnesia fast and caliphas biochemic tablets uh, they make the mind, emotions, nervous system completely calm, cool, comfortable without any suppressions, no suppressions here. Complete relaxation of mind, relaxation of nervous system, relaxation of negative emotions, the elimination of negative emotions, all that uh, will take place. So they are wonderful remedies to relax whole system. So mother asked me, shall we repeat uh, natrum self? I said, don't repeat because already this has given aggravation. Now we can wait uh, for one month uh, after one dose of natrum self. Uh, as long as the girl is doing well, not having the problem or gradually improving, we need not repeat the dose. Once uh, again the episodes are repeating, her suffering is repeating, then we have to repeat the natrum self 1M one more dose. That's what I have advised. Okay. So, uh, the father is highly educated, educationist now. He is running a school in Hyderabad with a lot of ideals. But ideals are not working out because of bureaucracy and so many other things. And uh, apart from that, COVID has come. That is another uh, problem. Lot of stress. Running a school in this uh, situation, lot of stress is involved. Okay. So, that's what uh, uh, our treatment is helping. Like that, uh, many cases, we have helped so many people with a lot of strong suicidal tendency. We helped with different medicines and every case, first thing we do is aromat, one M, one dose will give. So that the jumping and want to commit suicide, all that will come down. There are many medicines for different situations that I will explain later, one by one. Okay. This is what few cases, there are many more cases, complicated cases, we have, we are attending, we are getting good results. And one more thing is, one Amar, Amar Singh, our colleague, our friend, he is a, uh, after our classes started, he started coming to, he works in DRDO, Aeronautical Development Establishment, he is an officer. And uh, he started coming, he has got a lot of interest to learn homeopathy. He is, even before uh, our course started, he was uh, studying on his own homeopathy. But after attending our classes, he was very much impressed and joined as a volunteer. And uh, now, nowadays, he is taking cases, especially Hindi speaking, because he is from Bihar. So, Hindi speaking cases, I give it to him. So he has taken one case about a month back, one and a half month back, I think in the month of November, he has taken one case. That is, for last five years, that gentleman, 40 years fellow, suffering from psoriasis, psoriasis on hands, on this, both the hands, psoriasis eruptions. So he has taken the case. That is, personality is natrum, natrum moor. The person uh, is natural more personality. Then, uh, what I have given one dose of uh, uh, he, he himself identified natural more personality. Then, uh, tuberculinum one m one dose. So two days gap. Natural more thirty potency. Alternate days, one dose in the morning. Alternate days, one day one dose. Next day, no dose. But whereas uh, hydrocotyl, 3x potency, hydrocotyl. What is the importance of hydrocotyl? You will come to know later. Okay. Hydrocotyl, HY, DRO, CO, TY, LE, hydrocotyl, 3x potency, afternoon and night, you have given. 
Now the gentleman has come. Uh, so I think uh, not yesterday and men, Monday he has come. And he is cured by 90%. November he has come. For last five years he is suffering. November he has come. We have taken the case, prescribed the medicines. One dose of tuberculinum, one dose of ignatia, one dose of stafsegriavanum. And in between, natromore 30 alternate days, hydrocotyl 3x afternoon and night. And 90% he got cured. Psoriasis. See, that is the greatness, you know. So, even fellows who are engineers, lawyers, chartered accountants, or uh, any other professions, or housewives, even then, they also can learn homeopathy. Only thing is, you should have will to understand the body language. You need not understand uh, what is that uh, um, anatomy, physiology, what uh, you need not cut the that um, organs cutting uh, and seeing what is there, where uh, all these things not required. You should have the will to understand the, the emotions of the other person, suffering of other person, he should understand the body language. Body language means uh, modalities, suffering, better by what, worse by what. That part you have to understand. So, people, anybody who want to, has got willingness to serve the community, can learn homeopathy and serve successfully and uh, he can give lot of comfort. So, okay, we need not be big, uh, what is that, FRCS, MBBS, so that this, all these things are not required. Okay, you should have will to serve the community. About the COVID cases, COVID cases are increasing. So, many people are asking. But Omicron, especially there are now particular symptoms. Many people are getting only throat irritation. Pain or irritation, burning, severe cold and high temperature like that starting. And recently, last one week, three cases on phone itself, I told the medicine. With two, three doses of medicine itself, they are Omicron or Democron, we don't know. But they are positive cases, COVID positive. Okay. They got cured very easily. Easily, one case is Naksmachata. The person has visited Amritsar, Calcutta, then came to Bangalore. Then as soon as he came there, he has exposed a lot of cold wind. Amritsar, a lot of cold wind. Calcutta, a lot of cold wind. He got exposed. Then he came back. High temperature, he developed throat pain, burning, irritation, throat pain. And uh, high temperature and want to cover full, want to cover fully wrap with thick blanket. Then uh, does no thirst at all, no thirst, lot of dryness in the mouth, lot of dryness and always drowsy, always sleepy, does not want to get up, that is the status. The person's mother called me in the morning. Sir, this is the problem. What to do? What medicine we should give? After inquiring, then I uh, advise the medicine. This is the medicine. You give it. Find out whether that medicine is available with you or not. Okay. Then she said that medicine is available. Then I asked her to give once in three hours, one one dose. You give initially. When he is better, make it four hourly ones, five hourly ones, like that. I told. And CCF water, mix in water, CCF powder, mix in water and give it. And uh, that uh, one uh, medical person came and checked at home itself and it came positive, COVID positive. Okay. Then again they called, she called. 
sir, it has come positive. Whether it is positive or negative or super positive, don't bother. You give this medicine, it will help. After giving two doses of that medicine, that person, the temperature has come down, his suffering has come down, his chillness has come down, throat irritation has come down, and he got up and he took simple food. Then he started working in office work from home, work from home, and he's from his laptop, you know, he started working. And next day itself, almost 70% he is improved. 70%. What is the remedy? Again, I am telling, complete want to cover. Lot of coldness and complete dryness in the mouth, like bryonia and white-coated tongue and does not want to drink any water but dryness in the mouth. What is the remedy? Uh, can I get in the message here? Nobody is giving message. Can you give what is the message? What is the remedy? No, nobody is uh, responding. Okay, anyhow, I will tell you. Naks Mochata. Nux Mochata, M-O-S-C-H-A-T-A, N-U-X, Nux, M-O-S-C-H-A-T-A, Nux Mochata, Jajikaya, Nutmeg, Nutmeg, you know, Nutmeg is there, you know, Jajikaya Telugu. So, we use it, uh, Supari making and all that, uh, they, it is used, you know, Nutmeg, that is the thing, uh, so Nux Mochata is the remedy. With that, uh, he has improved. After two days of medication, he became normal. It became normal. After two days of medication, it became normal. He is all right. Now, some, uh, some amount of uh, throat, some phlegm formation is there. Now, I stopped all that. Today, I advised uh, to give only Kalimur 30, nothing else. Kalimur 30. And along with... Uh, these medicines I asked to give Tinospora cardifolia, Geloi, mother tincture, three or four times a day. Because that is very good for dengue fevers and even um, COVID fevers also. It is very good. Any type of fevers. Tinospora cardifolia is very good. So I have given that. I advise that also. That is also used. So another case is just the uh, same similar symptoms, similar symptoms, but lot of shivering is there, like this shivering, oh, 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 like that, you know, with complete thick two blankets also, that fellow, he is not comfortable, thick blankets, two blankets, so fellow, somebody has to hold him, oh, 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 like this, shaking, that fellow has the COVID positive, okay. So, what is the remedy to be given? No thirst. What is the remedy to be given? Gelsemium. Gelsemium is the remedy. Gelsemium 30. With two days of medicine, that fellow also became all right. So, like that, uh, you have got a very good recovery. Okay, let it be anything. Don't worry. Take arsenic all with 200 potency. Once in 15 days, one dose, and uh, take uh, Tinospora cardifolia, ox, osimum sanctum, mother tincture in the morning, Tinospora cardifolia in the afternoon, Ashwagandha, mother tincture in the night, 10 10 drops with 3 teaspoons of water, and in for children below 15 years, 5 drops with 3 teaspoons of water. You give this regularly, definitely you will be protected. And apart from that, your inputs, food inputs, body inputs are most important. Emotionally, you should not get disturbed and don't eat all junk items. Take healthy food. See, you are seeing all the fellows who are affected, they have taken two doses of, uh, what is that, a vaccine. Even abroad also. So, worldwide, 
they have taken two doses of vaccine or one, at least one dose of vaccine they have taken vaccine don't think vaccine will give you complete protection vaccine okay some protection it gives umbrella umbrella is there you are going in heavy rain your umbrella will give full protection it will give partial protection not to wet completely but uh, when uh, rain becomes more that umbrella also will not work but whereas if you are having stamina to withstand rainy weather to withstand that cold wind you can protect yourself you know you can survive so your stamina is important you suppose a uh, lot of wind is uh, blowing then if you are going along with the wind means no is but you should have proper stamina to withstand so strength is there then you have got uh, capacity to withstand that cold weather then you can save yourself you can protect yourself even umbrella goes also no problem okay even be become wet also you can still survive is it not like that uh, okay vaccine give some protection i don't say it won't give protection so it may give or may not give like umbrella only okay but anyhow it gives a lot of money to the pharmaceutical industries that is a different thing it is not our concern okay so that it may give protection or not give protection but you should develop your own immunity by taking proper food and with proper thoughts and taking immunity developing medicines of homeopathy okay this will help with this advice i will close for today's class so my bless my pranams to all the elders and all my gurus teachers and masters my pranams to shastri garu hanmay garu and all the elders my pranams to all the elders who are attending this program my whole hearted blessings to all the youngsters so stay safe stay safe and um, kindly avoid going uh, here and there unnecessarily uh, take care as far as possible stay at home and uh, protect yourself wear the protective clothing including mask and uh, uh, take proper food proper uh, inputs uh, take care of your family and use wherever required use homeopathic medicines immediately even afterwards you can go to the expert doctors but take care of your family to 